Hey everybody, it's BZ here, and welcome to another episode of Astral Colony. And uh, I have been doing a little bit of work off camera. I did a little bit of AFK session. I have about 2,000 plates going. Uh, not much iron left, but uh, it's still slowly going. I decided to uh, move the constructor over here for now, and this is just going to be making plates. I got it feeding into the warehouse, so we are good to go. Uh, as far as the power, situ power situation go is going, this is actually doing pretty good. Uh, I'll explain these boxes in a minute. Uh, I've been keeping an eye on it, and we are actually still building up carbon. So I'm actually going to put a third section on here and go from there. Uh, I have also been doing a whole bunch of research. I got almost 70 of the engineering points, and wow, 600 of those. Uh, so we're going to start unlocking some stuff. One is going to be solar panels. Uh, I have been looking on the map, there is no gold nearby, so this might be a bit of a hurdle. Uh, I want to do some off-station mining today as well, but uh, i got to get some colonists here before I start doing that. Uh, as far as everything else goes, uh, that's about it. I would like to get to the spacecraft. Whoops, I don't like that. i got to remember to use the scroll wheel here. But that requires the technology space, the space science, which needs aluminum. There is aluminum nearby, so... Uh, that can be taken care of. That's not a problem. But anyways, uh, first thing we're going to do is I want to actually expand this. Now, I have been messing around with uh, the whole blueprinting system. Now, I didn't actually know the, didn't actually know much about it because I didn't actually look into it. But if I open up the blueprint menu, this brings up this. Now, I can actually use this to build whenever I wish. Uh, that's the wrong button. I should know this by now. Okay, yes. No, that's not even okay. There we go. So I can actually use this editor and actually build whatever I want to have set up, right? And I sort of... Uh, hang on a sec. I figured it out. I had to create a new blueprint. But yeah, in this editor, I can actually go ahead and build uh, any sort of setup I want. For instance, I can have a smelter down here. I can do that and place uh, wires and conveyors and all that stuff to actually build something that you can be instructed off-site using the blueprint so I don't have to spend time to lay it out there. Which isn't bad, I do like that. Uh, and then I was messing around with um, uh, like the copy and paste mode, and I'm actually going to get into this to pop, uh, expand my power generation over here. So I think I just got to move this out six blocks. And yes, for some reason this is actually working out, because I guess when I tried that and it didn't, didn't want to work before. But anyway, so let's go ahead and move this wire that out and then uh, bring our selection tool now I, I'm gonna actually use this side because I got that one all messed up so all I got all I really have to do is just select the stuff I want to copy we're gonna copy all that including the including the splitter and all that stuff and then once it's selected I open up the blueprint menu and I'll um, auto, automat automatically create the blueprint for me then I can go ahead and save this uh, I want to save this Uh, would it be X with it? Hmm. Oh, I, I don't know. Not too sure about that. Anyway, but that is uh, created so I can actually get out of here now. And then if I go into... I should go into my blueprints. I believe I just use this and... Let me figure this out. I have no idea what I'm doing. Well, that was easy. Yeah, it's actually in the uh, blueprints menu of my crafting window. Uh, in here, I can actually rename stuff too, so I can set this up as uh, Ripple Carbon. Okay, I have no idea what's going on there. Carbon. There we go. I have to save that, and I believe all I have to do is just oh yeah, select it, and there you go. Just that simple. I like that. It's actually very, very easy to use. Uh, very versatile too. So. Uh, let me get this set up and I'll be right back. Yeah, I figured it out. It was a rock. 
All right, so let's go ahead and let's see where that vein was. It's actually over here. So I'm wondering, maybe try to go this way. I don't know if that's going to work or not. Hmm. Could do something like that, see how it goes. Kind of clipped in, but we'll see. Okay, put that in there and oh wrong button, of course. I don't know how long this is gonna take. Shouldn't take too long, so uh let me sit around for a little bit, see what it does, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so it's doing its thing now. Uh, these two have already hit the bottom already. These two are actually working on a good solid vein, so we are producing some iron. So uh I was looking at the vein here, it's actually um get out of here. That's the right button. So it sort of cuts off about here, and I've been clearing stuff out. So I'm thinking I'm going to put a second set sort of overlapping here, and then eventually I'll carve this out and go from there. So anyways, let's do that. Uh, this one will flip around, and I'll see if I can get it lined up with that vein if I can. Where's that vein? I guess I'll do it right there. Uh, I am going to need carbon. Didn't even think about that. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Wrong button. As always. When I want to take half a stack, I take the full stack. When I want to take the full stack, I take half the stack. As always. Alright. Oop, that's not what I wanted to do. Fine. Put that, and put that in here. And uh, I actually did figure out what that was. I was trying to figure out what it was. I know I keep hitting the wrong button. I'm trying to hit X and I hit C. But uh, this edge, it was actually apparently this edge here. So more decorative options if you really need to. Uh, better keyboard handling would probably do me a little, bit, a little good. Anyway, I gotta head back and get some oxygen. I have been uh, stocking up on dirt because uh, we're gonna have to get some colonists into, into the station and start doing more science. And I'm in the red. And yes, I did ex put another oxygen barrier up. All right, well, they are doing that. I do have to get, uh, let's expand this out. Oh, that's the wrong button. Well, right button just too many times. Yeah, we'll go out to here for now, I think. Going to expand this area out a little bit. So we're getting a factory floor. Uh, I did look at other floor styles and yeah, I'm okay with this. Uh, oh, I got this to fill in. Uh, there we go. And okay, so uh, I need to start producing rods. So I'm gonna. I don't have any carbon going in here, do I? I don't. I'm almost thinking about setting up a rationing system, like even here. I'm still getting surplus with, that, with adding another three of these generators on. Uh, I also have thought about adding another one or two collectors just for carbon. I might have to do that to start making rods because we're gonna need a lot of them. And I believe they were, no, no, they're actually making a smelter. All right, well, let's grab a smelter while we're at it. I don't know where I'm gonna put it. I guess I'll put it over here for now because it's just gonna be like a base component. Uh, smelter there. Hmm. Can't wait till I get pipes, to be honest. I don't want to grab carbon from here, or... You know what? Do this instead. Actually, we're going to expand the floor a little bit more since i got 1,500 plates. I might as well use them, see how big of a platform I can build. Alright, and then I've got a couple of these. I think one should be good. Nope, that's the wrong button. Wrong button, BC, that's my name. Throw that there. And then a U. I think we'll move you, and we shall put you right here. Yeah, I think I can just have everything going in for the ice. I didn't want to actually put that there. Let's move that. 
Alright, and uh, of course, wrong button, bring a smelter up. I'll put this here, and then I'm gonna have all the ice working its way over here somehow. This is where the logistic pipes would start coming in handy, so maybe I'll throw the container there for now. Uh, I'm not actually using the ice at the moment, but uh, we're gonna get into that pretty soon. So do that. And then grab a conveyor. I love that feature, to be honest. Alright, and then. Like so. Alright, then we'll grab a pusher. Uh, do I want a pusher? Oh, yeah, I do. I'm looking for ice. That's right. Alright, pusher. I'm gonna go there, and you're gonna be set to ice. All the ice goes in there, everything else goes in here. Uh, you can grab power from over here somewhere. I'm gonna go up with this, I think. So I got a little bit of headroom. Power grid should be fine. Uh, I can start making solar panels, but I only have enough gold to make about 10 or something like that. 90. Uh, I don't know what I could do. I think I might be able to get 20 if I'm lucky. Alright, so... There's that, there's that. Uh, oh yeah, I gotta bring plates over. That's what I'm doing here. Yeah, well, I'm gonna set this to... Set this to carbon, I think. And then... For the time being, I'm gonna bring a... Bring a conveyor belt over. Actually, we're just going to put a filter on. Uh, filter. Yeah, coming out of the output here. Uh, it's going to be allowing iron plates only. And I hope I know what I'm doing. That's what I want, yes. Get rid of that. Alright, well, let me fix this. Okay, I got it. I just had to put an extra one there. Alright, so I have the carbon going in. All I have to do is just enable the recipe for that. I'm going to let that smelt all that stuff. And then I think we're just going to feed this right back in. Uh, I kind of want to get a main line. Uh, this is just temporary to unlock pipes. Let's see, let's see how far away pipes are. They're here. Alright, well, for the time being, let's just hook up the conveyor because... You know, everybody loves conveyors, right? And we're gonna just bring this right over here. And like so. That's in the wrong spot. Oh, I didn't realize you guys should pick up the gold bar. There we go. And that's not gonna go in there. Perfect the ice. I don't care. Anyway, um, let's go see, check on the miners, maybe. I'll meet you down there. Oh, they're getting there. See how the vein's doing. Alright, so they're just about finishing, so I'm gonna have to come back and take out this whole chunk in a bit. But anyways, let's head back up there, and I think it's time to start getting some colonists in so we can start doing some more science. More research, more technolo technological advances. Okay, now this is going to be their area. Let's actually clean this area up. Because I don't need anything that's here. Get rid of that. Actually, we'll leave this wire here. That is, we're going to be using the lab. Now, that's got to move. Now, I was thinking about stick it in here somewhere. Because it's got to get to the water. Now, how big is it? It is a 3x3, three three, just like everything else in this game. Hmm. I can put it right here, I think. Oxygen generator. Uh, hmm. I'm gonna get that water in. 
easily accessible spot. That'll actually work right there, I think. Uh, no, I don't want the flat tile. I want the wire. And then we've got the pipe. I can. There we go. And I don't think it really matters. Did I not grab the pipe? Oh, that's weird, doesn't it? Actually, you connect it right to the tank. You have to come off the machine. Interesting. There we go. Now, you are going to be making oxygen. Good. Do not get rid of this. Uh, that I don't need. Leave the oxygen barrier there. We'll take out these wires. That. not the floor. Come on. There we go. It's a nice tool. We know how to use it. Okay, and there we go. So that go all goes into my inventory into the recycling, which is kind of curious about uh, if I, I get more than just the 10 slots or if I fill up and that's it. Anyway, uh, we need to get a dock on here, I believe. Yes, a docking station. Hmm. Well, I guess we're on this side, so I don't really have anywhere else to put it. Is that center? What is center here? Let me see here. Two, four, six. Yep, right there. Now, this is also another thing I need gold for. to higher astronauts. I think the lab will take up three muscle. Well. Eh, just do it. And uh, if you look at the top top right of the screen, you'll see a countdown with a shuttle. The reason why it was red is because I didn't actually call in new, new recruits. Now I'm getting new recruits. Now I have to meet their demands. Uh, we got to get farming going. Uh, actually, did I even unlock any of that yet? Uh oh. Oh yeah, that's right. I just remember something. We can't actually make them food. It's called hydrotonic. No, it wasn't in there. Where was? It? Oh yeah, that hydrogen generator. The other machine I haven't built yet. There we go. And where is this going to go? What does it need? It needs water as well. Oh, this looks like a good place to build it. Except for the fact the ports are switched. Hmm. We'll make it work. Alright. So now I grab... Power. Power goes here. Grab pipe. And pipe goes up. And connects like so. Now, if I open it, in here, I have two recipes. I have one for hydrogen and one for hydrotonic. Hydrotonic needs quartz. Sorry, I thought I had, for some reason, I had 100,000 dirt. Uh, quartz and water. We'll do that. I do believe I have quartz on me. Do I not? I do. All right. Uh, nope. Come on. Come on. Come on. Time for a new keyboard. Or clean it, at least. And then the astronauts can actually eat that for now. I do have to build a few other things for them. I have to build them a, a canteen. Um, again, I can always move this stuff later. Canteen, a dining stand. And grab the food there, they eat it there. And then uh, a few other things I need to do. I need a hibernation chamber. I don't think I need too many of them for, for the time being. Uh, worried about de uh, worried about be beautifying up the station a little, a little later. And what else do they need? Other than that, I uh, go to school. So I need to make gearboxes and study point. Now how did I make those things again? Recipes, iron bars. What do you know? We're producing iron bars. Come on. 
I'll get there eventually. Hang in there. All right. Iron bars. Throw those in there. Get the recipe for that. And... Oh, steel screws, I should say. Why? Oh, yeah, okay, I guess that is a, a screw or a bolt on there. And since I've already have this set up, it goes right into here. Perfect. So now, uh, what was I building? Oh, yeah, we're going to build a school. A uh, school, let's put it over here for now. And that's where the astronauts come. They go and learn their job, and then they need a study hall. And we go over here and finish up the studies. And let's see here. Pick that there for now. Get these out of the way. And there we go. So now I just go ahead. Uh, we need three scientists. They'll show up, do the thing. They'll go over here and they'll study. One at a time. Oh yeah, because they have to wait. Anyway, they're doing their thing. Let's go down here and go do our thing. See what kind, how much iron we got out of this thing. I was thinking about setting up for... Uh, Auto smelting too, but then it just means more power generation, all that stuff. But uh, let's see what we have. I can't wait to like the spacecraft. All right, yeah, it's still going. These are uh, these are almost done. No, oh, I think I actually have to go down with them. Are you still mining? You are. Oh wow, six hundred. Take that, and that, now you didn't get much, but lots of good stuff. Alright, well let me clear all these things out and uh, I'll bring you back when when ready to do some more research. Alright, there we go, we have two scientists ready to go, hungry as all ever, third one on the go. And uh, so, I do have to worry about bringing food to them, so I haven't done this, in, well I have done this, but I haven't done it yet. But, I think we're going to do it because I'm going to have to eventually. We're going to build a ro robot assembler because I'm going to have to get some of these freaky spider looking things running around the base here. Where's the station? Place you right there. Now, what did I need? Any copper and hydrogen. Now, do I have hydrogen ready to go? I do not. I need carbon. Of course I need carbon. Oh. Fortunately, it's everywhere. Let's try to take it. Oh yeah, lots in this one. I didn't realize this one wasn't actually hooked up to the, to the system yet. I have no idea what that sound was. Alright, so we we'll go do that. We'll throw that in there. And this is why I've got all this water, because this is going to be using a lot of stuff. Um, might as well get that, in, oh, get that in there. And get some more food. Oh, I need to grab some hydrogen. I think I only need two. Okay, we'll do that. Run over here and any copper plates. I actually have. Keep it in shift, I'm so used to it in other games. And let's go ahead and make ourselves a. I'll make two of them actually. They're freaky spider robots. I won't lie, they do kind of creep me out a little bit. Uh, can they get out? No, they can't. Alright. Let's do this. Give them a little bit of room to get through. Okay, let's see what we'll do this. We'll go to here. And, and there we go. Now they don't have to run too far. There we go. Now I'm gonna do oh, they're actually automatically doing this, so I don't have to worry about that. Now we're gonna go do the thing. All right, so now I gotta queue up some science here. Bring up the recipes. We're gonna get chemistry. I need a lot of iron bars and a lot of dirt. And that's where all, all this can't comes in. I also have 2,000 iron. I gotta start smelting. Um, hmm. Well, I've got four different smelters to put them into. Might as well, may as well. Put it in there. Half in there and half in there. All right. Now I need, I need iron bars. Oh, that's not what I need. I need iron bars. Dirt. Not necessarily in that order. Alright, and they're gonna get us our chemistry points. Which will take us some time. 
Now, as you can see, the ship up the top there is red, and it'll stay red until I go and spend more gold. <laughs> Sorry, not a big fan of them. Oh, they can get over the conveyors. I, I wasn't sure if they could or not. Oh, you know, I'm having troubles in the last playthrough I was doing. Anyway, uh, so that is doing this. Let's see. If, let me see what's next, and we'll move on. Research stopped. And I was trying to figure out what was going on, and I realized you were sleeping. Ah, interesting. You know what? I want to get them one more, just because. Just because it's cheap. I don't have to spend too much money on those guys. Just get to feed them what basically water and carbon in there. Yeah, they are good to go. Okay, so, uh, anyway, uh, yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I just went back down to the mines out down there. I had filled them up on fuel. They actually needed it. Let's see how much of this uh, food we have with these guys. We are good. Uh, we need more iron bars, and I should have a whole bunch good to go. Uh, I had to sort of turn the conveyor because it was pulling all the plates out of the system, and there's like 600 plates in here. So this is going to keep going as the carbon starts coming in. Alright, so let's go ahead and throw those in there. And now I actually have more research to do. I can unlock. Now, let's see what I want to do. Uh, I'm probably going to try to push to get the, the spaceship, I think. So we're going to go ahead and unlock advanced mining. Because we're going to need that for the advanced smelter anyways. And glass and transport pipes. Hmm. Six more, I'll be able to do that. And uh, I gotta get get to aluminum anyways. And since this is just the basic stuff, we'll do that and that. And we are gonna need space science. What do I need for that? 18. All right. Well, I gotta generate some more of that. I need 18 of those. And then we'll have to get into that eventually once we get aluminum. But I do have aluminum research now, so I can go and mine it believe and of course I want to get transport pipes all right well let me get some more of those, these uh, engineering points and I'll be right back okay so I have about 60 70 hours of actual gameplay in here right now and I just realized you can single click take things out of inventories I did not know that here I was trying to do, do this and trying to get a certain number all and stuff and if I only need 10 things I just click on it Brilliant. Okay, I think we've got close close to enough. Uh, next one we're gonna, uh, we're gonna have to do, I just realized to get into the agriculture, so I gotta get the bi biology science. Now this one I find is a bit of a pain, not because of the oxygen we need. We need eight oxygen for each point, but it's a carbon fiber. The carbon fiber is four, what was it, 10 carbon for one. And that is gonna be a lot that we need, I believe. We only need two there. Two there. Twenty there. Well, maybe not terrible. But obviously, once we get down to like black holes, a hundred. I haven't actually found a black hole yet, but I know they're part of it. And there's obviously fusion reaction, so maybe it won't have to be as bad. But I think we need I need carbon fiber for something else. Uh, hmm. Numbers in here, I believe. Yeah, what do we need this for? Polymers. Or, I'm sorry, graphene. Oh, okay, maybe I'm overreacting on that. Anyway, uh, we have research now. Let's, uh, what was I going to do? I was going to get... Well, we got to get this. That allows us to start doing those. Uh, what else do I want to get? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, we need the chemistry science for someone besides to trans transport pipes. And what was it? Hmm. Let me figure this out. Let me see if I can remember what I was doing. Okay, I think I was going towards pipes. Either way, I'm going this way anyways. So we're going to get advanced smelting. That'll give us the advanced smelter and glass. Uh, I'm going to take the transport pipes, because I want the transport pipes, because they go up and down and go over things and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, that's one thing about these conveyors that we have here, is we can't go on 
slopes or ramps or anything like that. It's just flat on the ground. All right, and then from here, uh, after transport pipes, I believe I wanted to get into. Wait, I want to do advanced construction. I am missing two of those. Now this is actually one other good thing about the research is if you can you can queue it up by clicking on it and then when you have enough points to actually unlock it, it does it automatically. Now from here I actually want to go colony, uh, colony origin first. Do I have an idea I want to try with this, uh, this block here? So I need 15 more of each. But I think this might be a good place to call it here. Uh, maybe we'll go down and move the mine it should be done done now. I fill them all up with a oh, 75 carbon each. Well, no. The reactors, anyways. Oh. That acceleration, man. It's crazy with that jetpack. And it looks like they're all done. Yes, they are. Okay, so now I believe. Oh, hang on. There we go. Oh yeah, that was uh, another thing about, I like about the pickaxe in this. Hang on, come on. I try to mine something, there we go. Uh, if you have dirt on you, you can actually place the dirt on the ground in the world. And I thought that was actually quite interesting. So if I ever need to build a platform to set a miner down, I can. Come on, right, there you go. Alright, now... We do that and get rid of you. As I hit the right button again, and then we uh, get rid of you. I right, gotta do that as well. Just clean up my mess and move on to the next site. Just like so. Alright, now I'm going to go place them back down. Uh, yeah, that was that one. Alright, so... Nope, well, that's not what I wanted. I'm going to bring that up and I want to scan. I said I want to bring that up and I want to scan. And actually rotate. So I can actually see where the deposit is. And I try to clear the area out the best I could. So, and more or less what I want to do is I want to start here and start working my way back. I want to make sure that I'm getting everything too. Awesome. Oh, isn't that nice? It kept individual stacks for me. Alright, I'll do its thing. And I'll go up here and I'll bring you back. Okay, so we do finally got uh, Colony Origin unlocked, so we have that. I have, uh, what would that be? That'd be here, Utilities. Hang on, I'm trying to find it here. There we go, Colony Origin. So I should be able to place this, I believe, anywhere I want. And that could be the start of a, another colony, quote unquote. <laughs> Uh, I do have some ideas for this. We'll check that out. But in the next episode, we're going to have to go start looking for some aluminum. Because we've got to do some science. I'm going to need aluminum for that. Uh, as far as these guys here, I didn't realize I put this the wrong way. But you can actually see the scientists actually inside working. So if you have one scientist, you'll see them in there working. If you have three, you'll see them all working. And each has their own station. So, you know, that's one thing I like about this game is uh, the little animations that they have of different machines. They're always doing something, right? Like this one, you can actually watch the uh, uh, asteroids shrink in size they get in mind. Uh, Smelter does this thing, conveyor belts, you know, the water has physics, the uh, ice crusher and stuff like that. But anyways, uh, we're going to call this one here. I thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget, to leave, don't forget to leave me a like. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Later.